Good morning, friends. Um, I am starting a YouTube channel, so welcome. Thank you so much for watching this. I'm Megan. I go by Meg in the social media world, so um, you can call me whatever you want. I don't care. I got some feedback at Posh Fest that I need to start getting out there more. So here we are. Mama is doing a haul video for you. So yesterday I went thrifting and I hadn't intended on going thrifting, but when I left Phoenix on Sunday, somewhere between the Uber and baggage claim or where I dropped my bags off, I lost my debit card. So I had to stay in town in St. Louis with my bestie Friday night because I didn't have enough gas to get home. Awesome. And I got in at like midnight. So I stayed in town, went to the bank and got a new debit card. And then I just decided to go thrifting. It's my happy place. Save a few hours later on in the month. So I'm going to do hopefully a concise video, but I got like a lot of stuff. So I'll just go through it as quickly as I can. I went to two stores, Savers and then my bougie shop. Um, bougie shop was having 75% off pants. So I got lots and lots of pants, but I also got a lot of shoes because they had some good ones. Uh, I made friends with I'm friends with the people that work there, so they like let me go in the under cabinets, stuff that hasn't been put out yet. Like it was a lot of fun. I did all of this in like two and a half hours, so not including drive time from to and from the places. But anyway, okay, so let's start at Savers. Um, Savers was they were putting out. I couldn't keep up with the new racks yesterday, but what I did find, um, you most of it was on the new racks. So this is, um, do I say it right? Kalia, Kalia by Carrie Underwood. I've had some luck with her stuff. It's kind of unique. These are leggings, good brand. These were a good size, size large. So I'll try not to try those on. Um, I got two pairs of those. I found this on the go back rack when I first got there at 9 AM. This is Zara and it's so cute. Um, white with the balloon sleeve with just super cool features on it. That's the back. Um, this is a size large. Love it. I also found this on the go back rack. I like to do that because, you know, people are always putting crap back. This is, oh, I'm also going to butcher this. The Leafs Doter. Size two. Beautiful, right? What? Um, you just saw a price on there. So if you shop at Savers, take a bag of donations every time. You get 20% off of a purchase of 100. And then you also earn points to get 20% off. Like when you spend 100, you get a 20% off coupon your entire purchase. No limit on it. So if you're not doing that and you like to shop at Savers but think it's overpriced, it is. But if you shop smart... You can make it happen. So, and then they also just mismark stuff all the time. All the time. I found a really cute old navy vest that I wanted just for me. $15. Okay, well, I'll just go to the website and use a coupon. Okay, so this is the other pair of Kalia leggings that I found. These are crops, size large. I like the butt of them. Again, I'll try not to try them on because I did find a couple pieces of Lulu there. Not sure what size this is, but super cute little tank that I got. That's the front. Whoa, what's going on with my lighting here? Sorry, friends. Woo! This is the back. So cute. And then the little thing there. Um, let's see what else. Um, something else about me. I love athleisure. I love to wear it. I love to sell it. Um, Athleta. Fabletics and Lulu are my three favorites that I buy. I'm trying to get more into the Kalia because I know it's got a pretty good following and it's really good quality stuff. So um, just that's why you see a lot of that kind of stuff from me. These are Fabletics. They are some like harem pant type deal. thought they were cute. Uh, with Fabletics, I don't really get the tops because they don't sell unless they're a bigger size, but these do pretty well, the pants. So these were... Oh, crap, I don't know what size they are. They're cute. Um, never leave Lulu behind. These are actually wide leg, but I liked the polka dot 
drawstring and the striped top, but these are like a flare leg. Probably groove pants, honestly. I just haven't done any research yet. Um, so this was my second favorite Athleta shirt of the day. This one was marked at $4, and the one that I really liked that was cream and in perfect condition, $10. Whatever. Whatever, savers. You're nuts. This is a size large. Okay, so you're going to think I'm crazy, but this leopard, if y'all didn't know, leopard is in this season, so buy it. Um, now, I would not buy a Target brand to resell, except for this is Ava and Viv, Viv, whatever, and it's a 4X. So the size and the pattern are fly, so it'll sell. It's like really cute. It's got buttons down the back. Like real cute. Okay, this is my favorite find that I'm trying not to try on, a size extra large. This is from J. Crew. Popover is super thick, and obviously Buffalo Check is never going to go out of style, I hope, because it's my favorite thing ever. Um, but I did check the style, um, and it's from holiday of 2017. So it's pretty current and real cute. Uh, J. Crew, I always just try to find a stock and go with it. So um, this is the new label J. Crew. So this was real current. You can see that the new label is cursive. And it was from the season of 2018. So, and it's 100% cashmere. So, snagged it. I love it. And then, my last thing at Savers. So, at Posh Fest, they had a, an athletic section, a kicks section, and then luxury and home. I'm trying, since I'm already into athleisure, I've got those people in my closet. I'm going to start buying more shoes. These need to be cleaned a little. There's like a small spot on the back, but they're Nike Air, um, Air Max. So, and they're a size 8. So, I thought I'd give it a go. But I'll clean them up a little bit and send those to somebody. Um, okay, so next I went to my bougie thrift store. I'm going to show you the shoes I found first because they are pretty incredible. Um, let me grab those. Like, I just saw them again and I'm really excited. Okay, so Rebecca Minkoff, size 7. How freaking cute. I'm not going to give you a whole lot of detail as to why unless it matters. Alice and Olivia. These are a small size, but Alice and My girl Tori. Now I actually put these on my foot and they need some cleaning up. They were in decent shape, so I grabbed them. I freaking love these perforated slides. I don't care what brand they are, but Tori just makes them even better. These are Vince. I've sold these before, actually. This one had a little spot. I'm going to try to work with that, work on that. But I've sold a pair of these for like 75 bucks in black, so we'll try the nudes and see how it goes. These were, oh gosh, what brand were these? Oh, these are actually Stuart Weitzman boots. Um, I loved these. I don't buy Stuart Weitzman very often, only because I think that he is, his heels and stuff is what I normally find, and they're usually a little dated. But these were so fly. Remember last season, last fall, I sold a pair of, actually really like the bottom. This foot says Stuart, the other one says Weitzman. Um, I sold a pair of Stuart Weitzman ankle boots for over a hundred dollars. So I snagged those. Um, so according to my friends at Posh, one, I need to watch the trend report. I made it. <laughs> um, and two, snakeskin is in friends. So these are Joy brand. They, again, going to clean these up. If you don't know how to clean this white stuff, just use, um, hand sanitizer and like a washcloth that you don't care about because all the dirt's going to get on there. So don't wash your face with it afterward, but you can really get those pretty clean. So they are in good shape. I tried them on, so to make sure there wasn't any flaws I was missing. 
Um, again, with the snake print, these are Tom's booties. I love them. I think they are so fantastic, and I'm so happy they're not my size because I'd be keeping them. Um, they're a size seven and a half, and I love the back detail. Snag these Bowden shoes. I freaking love Bowden. I'm such a preppy girl, but these are just back stripe there. These were a size 42. So does that make them an 11? I think they're an 11. Maybe even a 12. That's good. Tori, Tori, Tori. And then I snagged these lucky booties. A little country western flair. If you're going out to Nashville or something, girl, get you some. Um, these were a size 6. So, but they're super fly. If things are small, like small people need, small foot people need shoes too, friends. Okay. So just don't forget about them when you're Daily life. Okay, so that's those shoes. Um, then I've got one more bag of shoes. I got so many shoes. Oh, I haven't even done research on these yet, but this is a brand called Ash. If you know what these are, let me know. They're super fly. They feel really nice. They're size nine. And I am going to do some research on them. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. These are Sperry boots. There's a spot on them that I didn't notice, but we'll go for it. By the way, you're looking at these for the first time with me, so. Um, oh, size eight and look at the lining, so cute. Okay, here's my fun find of the day. These are a size five and a half, however, Jimmy Choo. I actually almost got a pair of Gucci's too, um, but the girl that was helping me was like, I really like these and tried them on and they were fabulous on her. So she kept them. She was going to buy them after her shift. <laughs> um, okay. I snagged a pair of, I think these are Emmy flats from Lucky. I think these sell real fast and real quick. Are these Emmys? Yes. Emmy flats, eight and a half, but just black. Ballet flats. People love these. And then I snagged some Ugg slippers. Tis the season for Ugg boots, my friends. So I got to redo some of the stripes on them, of course, but they were in super good condition. All right, now y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but you know, I sell little boy clothes. So they had these almost brand new looking little boy Sperry's. Size three, maybe four and a half. So Hank won't wear these for a long time. So I'm just gonna sell them. I'll find a couple more pairs before he gets into this size. Um, but they're leather, super, super soft. And then one more little boy shoe that I found was a size three uh, Foot Joy, little golf cleats for the boys. Foot Joy for men is like real good. So. Um, I don't know. It may be better on eBay, but there it is. Okay, so let's go through clothes. Um, so 75% off pants day. Well, I got a lot of pants. Spent like 63 bucks on all of these. So uh, something y'all should know about me. I have never been to the bins in St. Louis. I've heard a lot of horror stories. They may be fine. I don't know, but I am spoiled. And I really like to go to these sale days at my one thrift store. I know where the high end stuff is and it's there. I know what I'm getting into and they like steam their stuff before they put it out and I'm still getting stuff for a dollar and two dollars. So I don't have to panic or worry about what someone told me was a poopy diaper in a bin once. So anyway, bins may be fine. They're just, maybe one day I'll go, but I haven't braved it yet. So just know you can get stuff if you play it smart on different, in different ways. Okay, with that being said, let's go pants. So, size 32, polo, women's jeans. Maybe women's, yes, they're women's. Um, they are skinny jeans, and I don't normally pick up the brand, but they were a cute wash in good shape and skinny. And a good size, 32. Share that to the plus size party, baby. Okay, now, if you can get them for a low enough price, do not recommend paying up for these brands. 
But what you're about to see is stuff that will sell. Dog's barking. Sorry about that. Okay, now, <laughs> edit that out, right? First YouTube video, we're doing it. It's live or whatever. Okay, so these are actually White House Black Market. They are a newer style, um, like, season-wise. They are from, oh, they don't say, but they're size 8, and they're pink ankle pants. So there's, even if I make 20 bucks on them, like, that's still, for me, a good price based on what I paid. Um, I actually got those in two different colors. I got them in the pink and the rusty orange J crew if y'all don't know J crew is my favorite brand to sell it is like so cute and people love it so um, that's that new label again with the cursive these are the Billy Denny Billy Demi boot crop now do I buy boot cut jeans no but the boot crop is in so about them these are, again, a brand that I don't pick up if I'm paying full price, but at a reasonable enough price, I will definitely grab them. High Rise, Straight Leg, by Talbots. These are cords. That's Straight Leg. So Talbots tends to be a more mature brand, like people my age and older, and those are the kind of people that I attract in my closet. So these are the kind of things that I sell. Like Victoria's Secret Pink can't sell it for shit. I can't, I can't sell it for anything. Okay. Same pant, black. Okay. And then these are lucky jeans. Um, these are also a brand I don't pick up jeans of unless I can get them at a def decent enough price, but these are the Charlie skinny size four. You can see the leg opening there. Okay, so the rest of the pants are in this bag. These are Hudson skinny jeans. They're skinny and they're Hudson. They may sit for a while because of the color. Uh, they may not, I don't know. You never know with Hudson. They're lightweight and fabulous. 28 size. These were a, I won't say a splurge, but they were a risk. So DVF, Diane von Furstenberg. I actually quite love her stuff. Why is that not going? There we go. Excuse me, you shouldn't be seeing that. Uh, I like Diane's stuff, but sometimes her pants sit. I had a pair of jean pants for like a year. That's that. These are size four. They're white linen, I believe, and they're wide leg. Obviously need to be steamed, but they were a good price because of that. Okay, so I spoke with my darling friend Erin at Oscillating. And we were talking about brands um, during Posh Fest. And we talked about Talbots. And she was like, I don't pick up Talbots unless it's new with tags. So then I found a Talbots new with tags. And I snagged it because obviously I'm not going to pick up every Talbots. But they are cute crops. So grabbed those. They're a size 10. These were rich and skinny. So I actually don't have too good of luck with this brand. Um, I've only had one other pair of pants by them, but they're real cute and the price was right. So if I make 20, 25 bucks, I'll be happy. Um, these are a size 26. So for me, the smaller sizes tend not to sell as well either because people are my age and childbearing and you know, if you're a size 26 after you have kids, more power to you sister. But my butt got so big after babies. I found two pairs of rag and bone jeans. Um, Size 24, white with this fly zipper on the bottom. And then I found this pair. I also love the wash of these, also size 24. And then I found, oh, these are not them, uh, level 99. New to me. Never found it before, and if I have, I've never picked it up. But we'll see how it goes. I need to look up comps for them. Skinny. In case you haven't noticed, like there's a theme. I only pick up skinny jeans because I feel like that's all people wear these days. Um, I found diesel jeans. Again, with the I don't pick up 
brands I don't know very often, but this is a new to me brand and the price was right. So these are size 29. Um, I really don't even know if these are men's or women. They may be men's. I found them in the men's section. I thought they were women. Whatever. Look at that. Um, I'll probably put this pair on eBay. Colezioni. Arm Armani Colezioni. It's like their low-end brand, but it's not as expensive as if. But these are some, like, chambray type pants. They're cute. And current Elliot. If you ain't selling them, you crazy. But actually, their stuff kind of sits for me, so that's okay. But I like having it in my closet because stuff's so real cute. Um, these are green and a size 25. And then Paige. Now, I don't normally pick up white jeans. I always find flaws. I like this tiny spot on these that I just found. It's fine. I'll still sell them. You can't even see it. But White Skinnies by Paige. These are um, Skyline Ankle Pigs. So I have pretty good luck with Paige as long as it's an in-style brand. And honestly, people look for white jeans that are in good shape because you don't find them very often. Then I picked up two more pairs of pants. Athleta, my favorite. Uh, these are extra, extra small, but Athleta sells. So these are like some jogger pants. And they're like this weird, cool waffle knit material. Picked up those in black and blue. So that's all the pants I got. I spent $63 on all of those. So should be able to make my money back. Um, next we'll go through top sweaters, men's, all that fun stuff. So if you live in LA, you need what I'm about to show you. If you are a Rams fan, this is throwback. True vintage Rams top. I am obsessed with this. Someone needs to cut this up and wear it to a game because it is so fun. Um, that is a medium, I believe. Here's a brand that was new to me. Um, it may not be anything, but I really liked it, possibly for myself. It's got Sunday Zero. It's got this cute tie in the front. I thought it was so durable. And it's lightweight, which I like. So, me in menswear. Dabbling, growing, still not great. But I find a few things here and there that I can put in just to kind of grow my closet, expand my closet into the men's line, get more exposure. So, this is an Adidas T. This is a size large. This is just a red Nike tee. It's kind of a burnout fabric. Size large. Another blue Nike tee, and I'm gonna try not to let my husband see those because they're pretty funny. And then a Patagonia shirt. Um, Patagonia sells really well in men's. I've been trying to find a some more Lululemon because Lululemon men's sells like hotcakes. Um, I've really only ever found pants. That's all I ever wanna find. Because I sell them within 24 hours. So if you find men's Lululemon shorts or pants, buy them. Um, this is a brand I don't have too much luck with. It's Urban Outfitters. Uh, Staring at Stars, size medium. But this sweater had a cool pattern and was in immaculate shape. So it's like a cape sweater. Then I found, oh, my in my sleep. Yes, we did it again. Look at that jacket. It is gorgeous. It's a small fence. Okay, so we're starting to get a giant pile, and <laughs> I still have to put all of these in my computer. Um, if you saw me at Posh Fest, you know that before any of this gets hung up, like, it goes in the computer system so that I don't not help myself because, whew, it gets ugly. Um, okay, so this is my most ex exciting find. It's a new-to-me brand, and I just looked up comps last night because I thought, this tag looks like something. Like, that looks like anthro, doesn't it? Hmm. It is. And, like, shirts retail for almost 200 And this jacket is freaking fly, right? I love it. So, Drew Bolo. Um, this is a Saturday-Sunday sweater coat. Got some wear on it, but, man, it's thick and fuzzy, and it is so cute. And uh, this was a size, I didn't even look, I didn't care. So cute. It's a size small. I'm going to go this way. 
It's getting a little out of hand over here. Okay, and then as I'm checking out, waiting in line, I find this rag and bone sweater. Size small, white, and in perfect shape. Then, let's see, we've got, okay, we're just going to dive in. So this brand, I don't know, but I thought this top was so cool. I need to Google comps of this. Um, Billy T. Heard of it? Maybe not, but look at that. It's so cool. It's longer, and then look at the back here. So it kind of reminds me of like a Johnny Was type of brand. I don't have any idea what it is, but you can feel by something's weight and texture and by the look of the tag, it's probably something. We'll find out. Um, Bowden. Cute little Bowden top. Uh, this is a size 12, so an excellent size for Bowden to sell. It's got little shoes on it. This is another exciting find. They did not have this marked at a Lululemon price. But when you see something on a rack that looks like that, you know what that means? That's a rip tag. Search. On Lululemon, it will likely either be on the back middle or in one of the corners. And look what Mama found right there. And they didn't see it, so they marked it real cheap. It's a wrap. No idea what size it is. FYI, the rip tag's gone. Um, okay. So, Ann Taylor, size 12. Again, these are brands that I pick up only if the price is right or it's like super cute, but this may sell for 25 to 35 range. I'm cool with that. I found a North Face Denali. Loved the color. Again, with the, I'm gonna try not to put it on because it is so cute in my size. Um, Zella is a love-hate relationship for me. This is a size medium. I love to buy it, and people buy the crap out of it at Nordstrom, but they don't tend to buy it on Poshmark. I don't know why, but there's sometimes you just buy stuff because it's what you know. Um, another cool piece that I found. This brand does not have a high retail or resale value. But if you take the right pictures, model it, do whatever you got to do. This is black with some faux leather, but look at that fabric. It's textured and interesting. So since it's interesting, I bought it. Um, okay, so then on a brand new rack that had just come out at the Bougie, I found three size 14 J. Crew blazers. This one is the Seersucker fabric. So these have a couple things. One, career. Obviously, people are looking for that, these sport coats. Two, this, these are plus size. And three, they're all black label and fantastic. This one is my favorite um, because this is the linen. Look at those fly buttons. They're so cool. Um, but I grabbed all three. So... Somebody may buy all three because there's a blue, a black, and a, a khaki. Somebody, I may sell them all separately, but they are beautiful. All right, I've got just a couple more things here for you. Um, this is an Athleta. Uh, so something I've learned with Athleta, these actually sell better. The brand, it's one of the few brands that sells best for me if I use a stock photo as my cover. Don't tell anybody that I use stock covers as my photos. But... Um, I obviously take all of my own pictures, as many as it takes to get the item described. Uh, but for some reason, that brand sells best for me if I use one of someone else's image. Now, something that I do in 99% of my covers is um, chop the head off. That way it's not like, here is their photo and it's also mine. Like, at least then it's like, and then it's just from here down. So you can just see what the item looks like. Um, some brands I do not use cover photos of on um, stock images, vineyard vines. I've had stuff taken down from that before. And that's cool. I get it. Um, but I do like people to know how things fit and look. So I do use stocks when I can. Um, okay. And last but not least, this actually may be another favorite find. 
Have you heard of this brand? Oh, Frankie. Oh, Eileen. Uh, Frank and Eileen, I had no idea what it was, but it felt very quality to me when I was at the store last time and I picked it up and it turns out that shirt was worth $200. This shirt retails even higher because it's limited edition with the stars and they don't know that I might wear it. So, um, okay. So that's it. That's what I got yesterday. Oh no, it's not. Here's something. I never find this brand. A bejewels. Bedazzled. So um, that's what I got yesterday. I did all of that in two and a half hours and I spent a fair amount, but not anything unreasonable. I think probably three to four good sales on shoes and a couple of these tops, then I will have made my money back and the rest is profit. So um, I'll be on Instagram later to update you on um, total amount of items I purchased and then a better idea of what the, some of those items I wasn't sure about are on. So thank you so much for tuning in. I know this is a mess because it's my very first video, but if you like it and you want to see more haul videos from me, um, holler at your girl by, is it a thumbs up? We do a thumbs up um, and let me know what I can do, what other kind of videos you'd like to see. Cool. Thank you guys. Have a fun rest of your day. I hope you make a million sales.